It's uh, John Reed, JWE.com. Last day of Sapphire Tech at Madrid. I'll be in Wilcox here, boss. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you very much, John. We're here to talk HANA startups. In fact, you are one. Oh, yeah. Uh, although you go back a ways, you have a lot of experience in big data, et cetera. Tell us about the HANA piece. It kind of came together quickly. Uh, how did that all happen? Uh, yeah, it's been quite sort of... Uh Fast moving to say the least. We only uh, were initially introduced to the uh, program uh, in uh, late August. Uh, we were invited via uh, one of our investors, Enterprise Island, uh, who uh, SAP had approached um, to uh, come to a presentation and deliver, deliver a presentation on what we do to see if we could be accepted onto the uh, the uh, HANA program. And um, from there, we were accepted, and within four weeks, we had a working application integrated with. Uh, SAP uh, HANA uh, were accepted onto the uh, startup program, and uh, yeah, it's been our feet haven't touched the ground. Four weeks to working out. Yeah, it's not the old SAP that I know. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. we were we were we've been pleasantly surprised the whole yeah. way along. Interesting. So, what drew you to HANA? Did it connect with stuff you already been doing, or why why was this a good fit? Yeah, we, we have a positioning in the uh, the big data space. We we deal with organisations that have lots of uh, siloed or legacy data that uh, is important to them but they can't get access to and so we, we enable them to, to uh, integrate and get access to that and then we can then put it into the SAP HANA platform to, for use by other applications and we've actually met other startup organizations and started partnering with them in the last four weeks as a result of the introductions from uh, the startup program. So tell us a little bit about the use cases and that you've been looking into for HANA and how this works. Yeah, and in fact, actually, uh, our, our core markets have always been, it's a, it's a horizontal technology, so we have the issue of actually we've got to align ourselves with the business requirements. So we've looked at uh, things like uh, banking and insurance, where there's lots of legacy data, um, uh, also utilities and telcos. But actually, off the back of the, the startup program, we've uh, also started to enter new markets. And we, we're with a working demo here uh, around healthcare monitoring, where we're actually uh, monitoring real time uh, patients with blood pressure, heart rate, rate um, temperature, and feeding it into SAP HANA uh, for basically uh, um, patient record administration, but also predictive analysis and, uh, and diagnosis of, of issues that patients may have very resonant with the whole of the healthcare marketplace because obviously they need to reduce the costs of, of monitoring and treating patients. In the app you built, tell us about that. Yeah, that one, uh, basically we, we've got an integration with an Android app which uh, in that particular instance is uh, picking up uh, vital signs every 10 seconds and then uh, we're feeding that into a real-time analytics uh, front end where people can then uh, drill down to then a specific person both in terms of location but also all of their vital signs. That's one. Another one we've done is with uh, banking around uh, liquidity risk uh, management where we're getting uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, trades at a trade level information collecting that, stripping out the uh, unnecessary data and then feeding that into our analytics back end. And you're starting to talk with some pilot customers around what kind of feedback are you getting from them? Well, we've brought some of our own prospects uh, where, and, and certainly my, my uh, uh, initial impression was that SAP has always been too expensive. You've never uh, talked to sort of smaller uh, uh, organizations, but actually the whole thing about um, the cloud delivery of, uh, of the HANA program means that actually it is... Uh, uh, available to a wider audience. So we've actually brought a couple of our prospects into the uh, process and also we've engaged with some of the uh, SAP uh, industry leads in oil and gas around um, seismic information, for instance, in exploration, but also uh, with the, the banking and the healthcare teams around the use cases that we'd already got. And so it's, it's actually been a, a cross-fertilization of opportunities. So if I'm a developer that would like to get further into the HANA market, it, are the challenges technical? Is it more, do I need industry expertise? Like, what is your experience taking this to market? What do you think are the keys? That's a good question. Um, I think you have to come with, with obviously, uh, a, a well-developed technical solution, as you're going to be found out very quickly in terms of the, the scrutiny, not just from SAP themselves in terms of being accepted onto the program, but by their clients, because they have, you know, especially in the big data space, you, you, you have very onerous and, and requirements that would stretch any organization. So technologically, yes, you have to be well prepared and fully understand where you're positioned and how you should engage. But the use case is all important. If you cannot uh, articulate what problem are you solving, then, um, again, I think you'll, you'll struggle to actually then get the focus of the, the SAP client base and also prospective clients who, who haven't been introduced to uh, uh, SAP before because 
uh, the HANA program opens up another sort of section of the uh, of the market. Now we have one final quick question for you. Yep. Uh, you're a sales guy. You got to close deals. Yeah. So give me a best case scenario a year from now. Where do you want to be? Um, How many sales? I would well the the uh, the amount of opportunities being generated. Yeah. And this has been huge. So yeah. my issue is actually going to be focus and qualification of the opportunities being right. developed. Um, but where would I want to be? I'd like to at least have closed um, uh, between. Uh, six and ten deals out of the back of this. Now that could be a, a, a too too uh, ambitious yep. a target, yep. but also to then be rather than being part of the startup program, be exhibiting here in my own right as a as a partner to SAP as the Sapphire. Hey, nothing wrong with ambition, right? No, go get them. Not. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, John.